This is the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia, and an experiment has been taking place here for almost a hundred years. Right here. Professor Parnell started his experiment in 1927. He wanted to make it clear for his students that for some materials the boundary between solid and liquid is blurred. For example, there are substances that at first glance clearly appear to be solid, even breaking when you hit them with a the hammer, and yet they flow if you just give them enough time. These substances are called superviscous. Professor Parnell heated pitch for his experiment. He filled the funnel and allowed it to settle. Three years later, he opened the bottom of the funnel and started the experiment. It took around eight years for a drop to fall. To date, a total of nine drops have fallen. This is the tenth, which is likely to fall within the next few years. An exact forecast is almost impossible for several reasons. The viscosity of pitch depends very much on the temperature. In road construction, for example, pitch is heated and can then be poured just like honey. As you can see, the experiment here is behind glass in the hallway. So the installation of an air conditioning system between the seventh and eighth drop probably caused that the time between drops increased from around eight years to around 12 years. So critics claim that this is not a real scientific experiment because of these changing conditions. And yet, Experts were able to estimate the viscosity of this pitch based on the experiment. It's said to be 230 billion times more viscous than water, which makes it 1 million times more viscous than peanut butter. So far, no one has been lucky enough to witness one of the drops fall. Neither Parnell nor his successor Mainstone, who supervised the project from 1961 to 2013, were lucky enough to be present at the right moment. The seventh drop even fell while the experiment was in display during the 1988's World Fair. But apparently no one was looking and Professor Mainstone was absent for just a moment to miss the entire spectacle. In 2000, the camera that has been set up failed to film the eighth drop fall because of a power outage at just the wrong moment. The first drop of this experiment could therefore only be filmed in 2014, one year after the first pitch drop was ever recorded in a similar experiment in Dublin in 2013. However, as the beaker was already very full, the drop didn't come off properly. The new custodian, Professor White, changed the beaker in the meantime. And in the beaker with the nine drops, you can see how they already start to dissipate again. There is enough pitch in the experiment for 100 more years of pitch drops. The university has set up a live stream recording the event, so you have the chance to witness the 10th drop fall. And this time, they made sure nothing can go wrong.